And yet another example of what Trump wants us to believe about him, this weekend he posted an image from one of his ultra MAGA supporters, an image which was emblazoned with the words, God anointed him to save us from evil. Within those words are three separate lies. First, that God anointed him. Second, that he is our savior. Third, that he is fighting evil. The first of those lies, that God anointed Trump, has been repeated for a few years now by many of his hardcore Christian supporters. It's also part and parcel of the QAnon delusion, which unfortunately has poisoned so much of Christianity. The idea that Trump has been anointed by God is most often based on the King Cyrus comparison. Just as God raised up Cyrus, an idol-worshipping foreign king, to restore and rebuild Jerusalem, so he raised up Donald Trump to restore America. As should be obvious, the fatal flaw in that argument is that we know that God raised up King Cyrus to restore and rebuild Jerusalem because we have the biblical account to tell us so. By contrast, there is not a biblical account that Trump was anointed by God. What that means is those who proclaim Trump as anointed by God are actually projecting their own desires onto God. They are justifying their own lust for the things of this world by claiming it's actually what God wants. The second of those lies on the image we saw is that Trump is our savior. We have seen this narrative repeated many times in the last couple of years, and it has gotten to the point where it's even repeated by those who call themselves Christian. Ironically, the claim that he is Savior is also one of the more distinct characteristics of the Antichrist. This is because the Antichrist is not only against all that Christ stands for, but he seeks to replace Christ in the hearts and minds of Christians. And today's Christians, who should know better, are helping Trump do just that by mindlessly repeating the falsehood that he is the savior of America, or savior of Western civilization, or even savior of the world. The third lie written on that image is that Trump is fighting evil, that all of these evil forces in the world have banded together to fight Trump, which in turn makes him a force for good. This is, however, total nonsense. Trump is fighting not those who are evil, but those who oppose him or have come against him in some way. Whether or not the people he is fighting are also evil in some way is completely irrelevant to the situation. In addition, while Trump lashes out at those who criticize him or who aren't loyal to him, he also lauds those who praise him or who tell the world how wonderful he is. In other words, it's not a case of Trump fighting evil, but proof of how his ego dictates his reaction to others. This particular image and the lies contained therein help to illustrate how Trump not only constantly lies, but how he repeats the same lies over and over again. That matters because there are multiple studies confirming that the more a lie is repeated, the more it will be believed. This phenomenon is most often referred to as TBR, or the truth by repetition effect, or even the illusion of truth effect. Basically, TBR means that repeated exposure to a given piece of information increases its believability, regardless of whether that information is true or false. There is a famous quote, usually attributed to Joseph Goebbels, which says, repeat a lie often enough and it becomes the truth. And Trump excels at repeating his lies. And he repeats his lies directly to an audience that is already wrapped up in the cult of personality surrounding him. The more Trump repeats his lies, the more deeply they become embedded into the hearts and minds of his followers. And of course, many of Trump's followers are Christian. They hear his repeated lies about being anointed by God and being the savior of America and fighting evil and they believe them more and more with each repetition. The end result is that the cult of Donald Trump grows stronger by the day. The Bible teaches us that this is the M.O. of the Antichrist. He understands dark sentences. He masquerades as an angel of light. He throws truth to the ground as if it was worthless. Above all else, he is a deceiver. He is all about deception. 
The only way to fight back against this deception by the Antichrist is to reiterate the truth. And the truth is that Donald Trump was not anointed by God. Donald Trump is not fighting evil. And most importantly, Donald Trump is not the Savior. Our Savior is Jesus Christ. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And if videos on Bible prophecy and specifically the Antichrist are of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Should you care to leave a comment, please do. As always, kindly be respectful of others in any comment you leave, especially towards those with whom you disagree. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon.